Hey guys, myself Mukesh and today I'm going to show you how to upload a file in PHP. So let's get started. So first we need to create form. Okay. This form contain our file for file control. Action. Upload dot php this upload dot php file contain the upload logic okay and method is post and encryption type is multi part slash form dash data this is very important in file uploading okay and this will pass the data in binary format let's create one input type file and name as my file and two line breakers to differentiate another input okay input type submit name submit and value value is upload okay so our form is ready you can see it now we create upload.php file for file uploading logic okay create a new file save as upload.php upload.php now in this file php okay first we are going to check dollar fa underscore files global variable if file is uploaded then this global variable is setted okay if this sets then we have to uh, apply our upload logic okay now this files is two dimensional is two dimensional first dimensional contain the name of the file control is the, uh, our file control name is my file okay and second is the constant first is name which will return the name of the file like this there are four other constant okay let's take four more three and second is size after that type after that error and uh, after that temporary name okay temporary name we are storing this in local variable name this is the size this is the type okay this is the error dollar type sorry error error and this is the temporary name okay now what we are going to display these values okay so you can see what the values are coming and you can use in your program as, as you needed okay dollar size we are concating okay all the variable in one line dollar type and dollar error sorry has okay error and last one is dollar tmp okay one more we are concating is line breaker so we can distinguish now if dollar 
error greater than zero okay then there is any error file upload error if error values is zero then file upload is successful and if any greater than value than zero then there is any error okay if there is no error then we going to upload the file okay in this we are going to checking the type i want to upload some image file to restrict the upload okay and that image file should be a jpg file or type equal to equal to image is jp jpeg okay and if not this then i am going to show message to the user that is not supported file or not allowed type okay not allowed type if it is allowed then i am going to check if file is already exist or not okay exist function which contain the file name so our file is in the upload folder i want to store my file in this so i am going to check this folder and my file name if exist then i am going to show message user sorry file is already exist file is exist okay if not exist sorry else not exist then i'm on to upload file so for that is function move uploaded file to the our folder its first parameter is file name so here is temporary name and destination destination is where we want to store our uploaded file so that is the dollar name upload folder and name we are concatenating and so our destination is created okay and we lastly display the message to the user that okay one line breaker and message file is successfully uploaded okay let's test it say choose file one jpg file open and upload you can see file name okay the size of the file type of the file error and the temporary name of the file okay and you can see here file is successfully uploaded let's we check in the folder okay into htdx this is my folder and this is upload folder as you can see that this is the file is uploaded okay now we try to upload some unsupported file let's take this gif file okay open upload you can say not allowed type and the all the properties of that file okay if you want to allow this type then you just need to add this type here okay one more or option and you can do it okay i hope you like this video and it's helps you i hope so please subscribe my channel and like my video so like share my video and if you have any trouble or issue in this please comment in the below section thank you